I spent 10 hours learning 10 unique skills and only got one injury. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. It's a win-win for both of us. Let's get into it. So it's 9 a.m. now. I'm gonna get started with learning the first 100 digits of pi. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. So I've had the first 50 digits memorized for years now, so I'm only gonna be memorizing 50 more, which is one digit per minute to commit to long-term memory. It'll be challenging, but definitely doable. And I wanna mention that I did this before I started my Memory Palace series, which would have made this way easier. So 3.14159 Mike's, where's the mic? So it's now 9.30. I've memorized 25 digits so far, so I'm at 75 total, halfway there. All right, it's 9.45, and I finished learning all 100 digits, so here we go. 3.14159265589795232348427905028497165105 Let's go, that's it. That's definitely it. It was definitely not it. I messed it up at the end, but I said it correctly just before recording. Wait until later on in the video though, because I tried all of these skills again the next day to see if I could still do them. So skill one's a success. Let's move on to skill two. Oh, fuck. Let's move on to skill two. Bro, come on. Let's move on to skill two. Gonna be honest, never thought I'd be spending an hour straight learning how to fold shirts, but here we are. I don't even know the technique, I just know that it's possible to fold it in like two seconds. There's a certain way to do it, so I'm gonna learn that and then get started. It's 10 o'clock, let's get after it. So I watched some tutorials to start and then just kept folding for an hour straight. It was super easy to learn, here's how to do it. Envision a line halfway between the top and the bottom of the shirt, and another line halfway between the outside edge and the center line of the shirt. We'll call these points A, B, and C. Grab point B with your left hand, point A with your right hand, cross A over B to grab C, and then unfold your arms. Ta-da! I folded 10 shirts twice, once how I normally do, and once with the new technique and timed both. Took about one second longer on average per shirt using the new technique, but keep in mind I was competing against a lifetime of folding. So on to juggling four balls. I already know how to juggle three of them, so I didn't think four would be much of an issue, but as you can see, it took a lot of practice. I was trying over and over again, literally for an hour straight in my cold garage, so my hands were freezing. So when I realized I couldn't just jump into it and do it right off the bat, I had to start practicing. So I practiced with one hand at a time, just getting the motion down. And as you can see, this is the easiest way to do the four ball juggle. It's called the synchronized method. So even after a lot of practice, I still wasn't getting it consistently. The most I was getting was 3, 4, maybe 5 throws with each hand before I dropped them, which wasn't bad but wasn't exactly how well I wanted to be able to do it. And as you can see, the frustration occasionally got to me. I took a break for 15 minutes because my hands were so cold and I came back to it later on in the day, which you can see here didn't exactly help that much in terms of my ability. On to the next skill. So hour 4 was learning a cool edit in Adobe Premiere Pro, but everything just seemed like trash. Bro, you're trash, bro. So it took me half an hour, but I finally figured out the effect that I want to learn. It's a green screen, so being able to change this into that, that, or that, let's get after it. So I've used this edit a lot since learning it for this video. It's super useful, and I would highly recommend it if you make videos like mine. It really opens up the creativity you can bring to your videos. It was really easy to learn this within the hour. I had some extra time that I spent eating lunch to prepare me for the rest of this, which brings me to the next skill. For skill 5, I'm going to be learning how to play Under the Bridge by the Red Hot Chili Peppers on guitar. Let's get into it. All right, on to the sixth skill, or seventh. It's been a long day, I think six. I honestly have no idea whether or not I'm just gonna fall straight on my back or if I'm gonna nail it first try. Let's find out. All right, totally failed there, but it was my first try, so I'm not worried. This was super awkward. This guy was delivering an Amazon package and he was watching me fail these kip ups. I tried a ton of times and was putting a lot of effort into each one. It wasn't until I tried generating force on the lift off with my neck that... So the kip ups didn't go so well. It kind of landed on my neck a little bit. Um, so there are no. 
unfortunately. I got pretty close though. Um, but yeah, on to the next one. Do you remember a few months ago when everyone was obsessed with Squid Game? Yeah, that's when the inspiration for this one came. I'm just incredibly bad with procrastinating. I'd give you a tutorial here, but it'd be better if you learned it from someone who's Korean, so I'll put the video I learned it from on the screen. Just finished learning how to make dakji, and now I'm going to learn how to... So I can whistle fine normally, I just can't do the loud, you know, like taxi cab whistle. <laughs> Hopefully I can do it in an hour. We'll see how it goes. That was loud. Let's go. Keep all your game as a lost, as a lost. So say, as a lost, no way. Keep all your game. There we go. For the technique, you want to fold the piece of paper lengthwise once and then widthwise as many times as you can with one final lengthwise fold. I've seen people get creative when they didn't have a bottle opener, so this one seemed like it would actually be useful to learn. You want to grab the bottle tightly and use the opener as a lever between your index finger and the cap. I allotted myself three bottles to open. There was a reason I did this one last. It's almost 7pm, I finished skill 10, and I've been learning since 9am, so I'm exhausted, but I'm so happy with how it went, and tomorrow I'm going to be spending an hour recapping all of the skills to make sure I learn them, so here that's probably coming up in like 3, 2... So I'm just about to spend one hour repracticing all the skills I learned yesterday to see how well I really learned them. All of them except for the kip up, because my neck is still pretty messed up. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just jump into it and see how it goes. I'll start off with pi, so 3.14159265358978. Uh, that was my first try in a whole day. I think it's right. We'll see. Oh, all right. I'd say that's a good one. Let's go. I want to be fully transparent with you guys. You're just seeing the successes here. I tried all of these skills so many times. So if you're trying to learn them, don't get too discouraged. Oh, that was a great one. That was 10 skills in 10 hours. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in tomorrow's video, which is the two-week mark of my Learning the Lucid Dream series. Peace.